over to the next game. Try the next game, Power of Thor. All right, so now we are controlling Thor, you know, the god of thunder, or the superhero from that film. And Thor has to go to a specific point, which is indicated by a red uh, lightning, and he we lose the game if Thor moves outside of a map, which I guess means over all, any of the borders. The map is 40 by 18 fields, we could even say pixels if we wanted, wide, high and wide. And we have the X and Y position of the uh, light, the target, and we have the initial position of Thor. And we can move in eight directions, not only left, right, top, up, down, we can move also diagonally, northeast, southeast, uh, southwest, northwest. First of all, we don't only want Thor's initial position, we want Thor's current position. So Tx it is, and, we're, and Ty, and we're going to assign them to have the value of initial Tx and t, Ty. Next up, I'm just going to write rel rather stupid if-else conditions. So if Tx and Ty are larger than light x and light y, then we want uh, to increase... Um, no, we want to decrease Tx. Um, Tx, Tx, which means we want to go west. I'm just going to write this as a comment. West, and because Ty is also larger, so we are at the bottom, and light is above us, so we want to go up, which is north. So, and Nw. Let us just check if that's one of the variables. Yeah, north, west. So. That makes me realize we also need a string uh, variable. str. We call we will call it dir for direction. So let's just say dir. Do we have to say a string? Huh. And now we're going to continue with the not too smart if else loops. So we're going to do an else if So this is case 1. All right. We're going to have four cases for diagonal movement. We're gonna have um, two cases for horizontal and two cases for vertical movement. And also the last one doesn't... Uh, yeah, actually we're, we're gonna keep it like that with else if. So let's just indent this for easier reading. And now we're gonna say, okay, so in this case, it is um, the light has a larger value, so it's at the bottom, so we want to go south. In this case, it is also at the bottom, so we want to go south, but it's in the other direction, so we want to go east. And here we're gonna go wanna go northeast. And down here we just want to go uh, x, so it's west or east or north or south. So west is the first case, the other case is east. Um, north is when it's larger, 
ty is larger and the other case is south. This should do it. Let's just check the code. And of course, let's send dir for direction in our test cases. Oh, I just realized uh, I'm so silly. I'm not updating the tx and tay positions. That's really not smart. So let's see. tx equals tx minus equals mm, 1 and tay y minus equals 1 as well. And we're going to add it to all the other cases as well. So tx is reduced, is increased, is increased, is increased. And over here we only have one change, so tx minus one. plus 1, ty minus 1, t1 plus 1. Let's see if that works now. All right, we're done. Uh, let's just watch this go to the end. All right, Thor, good job. Thanks for being smart. And the last case, oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, we need to check those again real quick. But this one works as well. We're just going to skip ahead. And there we go. So let's check these two as well. In progress, this one works. And this one, I'm sure, does as well. All right, we can submit it. We can remove our annoying notifications. Oh, jeez. And publish it. And the next game would be Skynet. No, let's do this one next time. And as for you, please like and subscribe. I hope this was useful. And see you in the next video. Have fun making games. Ciao!